Good morning, welcome to SCADA World YouTube channel. Today we will make some insert data to SQL database and we will display this inside the WinCC window by the .NET control. Okay, so I have one button. In this button we will create the new Visual Basic script and this script will insert some data into the SQL server and SQL database. Okay, so I have the database. For me, it will be module 7 DB. It's just normal database. I have three different tables, chocolate second, table one and table second. Table one has the varchar, date time, floating points, integer and an varchar 50. Anyway, now I will create the insert option inside the new query in SQL Management Studio and if this query will work normally without any error, the same we can use inside the WinCC application. Okay, so generally the insert data into table, it's the insert into table. We need to put the uh, column names or not, if we want to use all uh, columns. And we need to use the values and we open the brackets and we put the values. Okay, so now I create the user DB. It's a string, so we have the single apostrophe for the string. So you, we have the user DB, description DB, we have date and time, and we need to have the year, month, day, space, hour, minutes, and seconds. And after this, we have the floating points, integer, and the last option is again the string value. Okay, so I need to put the values. So I will put the insert into table one, some values. Let's try this. Hmm, can only be specified when a column list is used and identity insert is on. Okay, so I will put the table, I will delete the ID because ID is added automatically because we don't allow the nulls inside my example. So I have column name, user DB, description, date time, parameter 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so my query is now insert into table, the column names, and we have the values, and the values has some, the values of this column, yeah? So we have some strings, some floating points, and some date time. Okay, let's try execute. Okay, one row affected. So. Generally, this SQL insert worked correctly for me. Let's check the SQL. I have the user DB, description DB, date time, and some parameters. Okay, so generally it's working. Okay, so right now we can go to WinCC window and we can try to make the same script, the same SQL query to our WinCC. Okay, this example I did before, so I just copy paste uh, for this example and I will show you how to manage the date time. Okay, so we have the connection string we use the SQL only DB. Data source is MSWPC WinCC. The initial catalog is 
Module 7 and we use the integrated security. Module 7 is the database and integrated security so we don't provide any user and password. Generally this script is ready, you can copy paste this and we have the SQL query. This can be update, delete, insert and any other. So now I copy my example and paste into this script. So I have again insert into table 1 columns, I have the values, now I change the date and time, so I will have the different example. Of course, you need to have this kind of format of date and time. It's the best thing for you. Ok, so activate the WinCC runtime. I clicked once. After we refresh, so we go to execute. I have the second line. So this is the 31 May 11, 11, 11. It's working. Ok, so we have description 11, 11, 11. After I clicked many many times, I should have more values. Yes, it's... Hmm. Ok, so right now I want to show you that you can also display this SQL table inside the WinCC runtime and you can see the same values from the SQL table inside the WinCC runtime. Ok, so we put the select everything from table 1 and the connection string, it's nothing hard, you need to put the copy paste of your connection string from your WinCC script. Ok, so connection string and voila, you have your database table inside the WinCC runtime. Now we can change the SQL query, for example, we want to display data only when ID is greater than 26. Ok, so my ID is only 1, now I will close this runtime Start again, ok, so I see that my net control displaying good values and the same values are ready inside my SQL management studio. Everything is working with SQL and WinCC Visual Basic Scripting, ok, so if you need this kind of settings, this kind of scripting, join our SCADA world community and see you in next videos. See you and bye.